Hi, I'm Joe Crabtree, and in these videos, I'm going to be explaining what polyrhythms are and how to figure them out. First question, what is a polyrhythm? Poly means more than one, and rhythm in this case just means dividing a beat into one or more pulses. So here we have a tambourine playing at 30 beats a minute. A rhythm of two means dividing that evenly into two beats. A rhythm of three means dividing evenly into three beats, etc. So here we have four red circles which could indicate playing four with the right hand. And for a polyrhythm, we need to play a different rhythm with the left hand. Now, if we were to play two with the left hand, this wouldn't be considered a polyrhythm because all of the left hand beats fall on one of the right hand beats. So this second beat falls on the third right hand beat. So this is essentially a simple layered rhythm. For a polyrhythm, one rhythm shouldn't be easily derivable from the other. So instead of four, if we have three, this is the most basic polyrhythm because the three and the two aren't easily derivable from one another. You can see that they don't share the grid. This is a three against two polyrhythm, and it's the most basic polyrhythm you can play. But pick any other combination of numbers, for example, three against four, you can see that they don't share a common grid. If we do six against four, you can see that they share some of the same things, but this is essentially a three against two polyrhythm repeated. But six against three, all of the blue squares fall on one of the red circles, so six against three is not a polyrhythm. Now you know what a polyrhythm is, check out the other videos to learn how to figure them out.